Both of these products are really, really nice. I like them both a lot. And they also smell really good, they, but it works really, really well. Come in a pack. Auntie loves these. <laughs> if you're looking for a bone that's not rawhide, these are perfect. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, which you probably are, because this is still a relatively new channel, I'm glad you clicked on this video. Today we're talking about things that I found on Amazon for French Bulldogs or for puppies in general that I've really liked and that Monty's really liked. So without further ado, let's get into all my fun Amazon finds for your dog. First, we're gonna talk about some health products that um, I really like and everything, again, will be linked below. So if you're looking for any of these products or if you like anything that I say that you've been wanting to try, feel free to check them out. I'll have everything linked below. So the first thing is from the Natural Dog Company. Both of these products are organic. The first one is the Snout Smoother and the second one is a Wrinkle Balm. So the snout smoother um, just goes, I put a little bit on my finger and put on his nose and it moisturizes his snout so it doesn't get dry and crack in the winter. And this has worked really, really well. Um, if you open them, it just looks like this and it smells like essential oils. So I really like it. Monty never had a problem with it. And yeah, so we've really enjoyed using these products. Now this one, the wrinkle balm goes more in his wrinkles if it tends to get dry um, under the folds or creases. And this again, just looks the same. This one is a little bit more, um, not as uh, tacky or wet, but it works really, really well. So it, it also doesn't get too, you know, caught in there and, and create any kind of further issues. So both of these products are really, really nice. I like them both a lot. The second one is this PetMD Chlorhexidine Antiseptic Wipes. These are for dogs and cats, but basically it just, they're like little wipes that you clean out the folds and these are going to get rid of any kind of bacteria or germs living that could cause an infection or anything like that. So these are more of like, you know, not every day, but if you're noticing there's some redness or he's your dog is or cat is itching, then these would work really nice for that. And they also smell really good. They, it seems like they would maybe smell like a medical kind of product, but they actually smell really nice. Next um, find on Amazon was this Complete Care um, Enzymatic Toothpaste, and it's by Arm & Hammer. It comes with a toothbrush for bigger teeth and for smaller teeth, as well as a little finger brush as well. So you can put toothpaste on here and do that if that's easier. So both of these, um, this all came in one pack, so you don't have to worry about getting the brush and the finger brush separate. And then the last kind of health thing I have is this Earwell Otic cleaning solution with aloe. This, I just unscrew the little top and squirt a little bit in his ears and then massage his ears for a couple of seconds. And this works wonders, especially for dogs, like French Bulldogs with their ears that stick up. A lot of um, dirt and bacteria can get stuck in there. So it is a good idea to clean at least once a week. And we use this to do this. Now, Monty doesn't love this, but it works really, really well. Now jumping in to a food product I found. So I actually was shopping at a pet supermarket here locally in Charlotte and found these Whimsies. Now they were sold separately, so you could only buy them like this, but these actually come in a pack. Auntie loves these. Uh, there's 24 small little Whimsies in here and I fill them with peanut butter or yogurt or pumpkin and stick them in the freezer and they're such a great snack, especially for teething dogs. So basically, hey, I'm gonna put this back. So it does say on here, they are vegetarian, grain-free, gluten-free, GMO-free. Uh, they're made out of all kinds of different vegetables like um, uh, potato, paprika, alfalfa. Basically, they're really, really good for your dog and they're really good for their teeth and gums as well. So yeah, these have been a favorite of Monty's, clearly. 
Next is a couple of clothing items we found. The first one is this flannel that I don't think fits him anymore. We haven't tried it in a while, but this was his um, Christmas flannel. It has a little collar and little buttons on the belly so he can we could like snap them, but this was adorable. Um, he actually, this was the only clothing item that he owns that he loved and he had no problem wearing. It's really soft and comfy for him and it kept him warm in the winter. So as I don't think this one fits anymore because I think this is an extra small, but it was really nice while it lasted and it was an Amazon find. So thought I'd include it in this video. And then the next thing is this leather jacket. So this is actually something that um, Monty's grandma got for him and it's the cutest little, I'm not even gonna try to zip it right now, but it's the cutest little leather jacket. It's got like pockets and stuff and it just really represents who Monty is. It just fits him so well. So um, this is his kind of jacket that he'll be wearing for the winter when it gets cold because he tends to get cold very easily. So this is, this is great for your dogs if uh, they don't want something super thick and heavy, this is perfect. And then lastly, I have a couple of big things. I actually have one toy to show you, and I don't have all three. These came in a pack of three and they're kind of chewed up, but these are the Nyla Bones. This came in a red, white, and a blue. Um, this blue one is has like little ribs on it, um, which is really good for their teething. And I think each one of them is flavored a different flavor, but they don't have an overwhelming smell. Monty just loves to chew on these when he gets bored. If you're looking for a bone that's not rawhide, these are perfect. Uh, Monty loves to just chew on these and they've been great for his teething. And then the last couple things I have are big things. So the first one is this pet car seat and it's by the brand We Help, Why Help? It's right there on the front. Um, but basically how this works is the um, it straps around the car like headrest and I think it's actually this part that straps around the car headrest. And then you can clip them in on their, like their collar so they can't jump out. But it's a really nice size for puppies and for um, regular size French Bulldogs or anywhere from probably maximum 25 to 30 pounds would fit in here. And then it's just mesh on the sides. It's got paw prints. It's got a cute little pocket in the front for anything that you are traveling with if you want to put like a leash or something in there so this has been really useful he doesn't love to sit in this because normally when we're going somewhere he just sits on my lap but if we're traveling to the vet and it's just me taking him then i'll put him in here that way i can strap him in on his collar and i know he's safe the next thing is this um travel carrier so this is by the brand Pet Ami or Pet Amy, um, it's P-E-T-A-M-I. And this is just the red color. Anyway, it's got like a pouch in the front. It's got a couple pockets where you can open up and they can see out of. The entire top is mesh. The front where it opens is also mesh. It opens on both sides. And then it also has, which I really like, this little um, piece of fabric that you can stick through um, like a suitcase handle so you can travel with them. We're actually planning on taking Monty on a few trips this year, as soon as everything kind of calms down with the pandemic, and this is what we're gonna use to do that. It comes with this like little bed you can take out and clean, but it's really soft, and I'm sure he won't love this thing, but it'll be very practical and useful. And next is actually this pet backpack from the same brand. This one is just a gray color, but again, it has the front pocket, so it's really, useful. It also has name tags on both of them. So it has his name written. And then this one you can open on the front so they can stick their head out. It has two flaps on both sides that you can open. And then here's like the backpack part that is adjustable. So this one is really only, you can only sit in because it's too small for him to lay down. But again, it comes with this like, um, you can remove this little soft pad. But yeah, he's used this a couple times. If he refuses to go on walks, if it's too cold or something, we'll stick him in here with a blanket and so he can actually get the fresh air without having to walk and shiver and things like that. But both of these have been really, really nice. They're great quality and they're very inexpensive and they will be linked down below again. So the last thing I have to show is this huge playpen. It's probably not as big as it looks on camera, but it has this little, 
um, front door that they can enter through or you can zip it up. Are you wanting to get in? And this we haven't used in a few weeks just because he got um, into the bad habit of going potty in, in it. So we kind of took it away for a little bit. But this he used to sleep in. We used to put his bed in here and he used to sleep in it. We used to keep all his toys in here. So if he wanted to play, he could go in here and play. It also had like a top mesh part. We no longer have that because Monty chewed, chewed the zipper so it wouldn't zip anymore. But, but it really works really well for puppies who aren't necessarily great with their crates because it's not as closed in. You can see out and it's also um, not like a hard metal. It's mesh so you know they can't get hurt or anything because I know puppies sometimes will try to get out of their crates and hurt themselves. That is basically you can't I mean it's puppy proof you can't really hurt yourself in that. So those are all the major things that I wanted to mention in this video that I got off of Amazon that I really, really liked. Thank you for whoever suggested this video. I really appreciate it. And if you guys wanna see any other videos like this, I know most everything I get from Auntie is either from TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Home Goods or Target. So if you wanna see a haul from any of those stores, I'd be happy to do so. So just let me know down below and I might actually do them anyway because there's some cool stuff that I wanna show that I get from those stores. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.